right we've done our breakfast to take out with us overnight oats just finishing my tea just on our way to Paul Perrault and Lou on the bikes Woo! so according to the maps it's a 40 minute bike ride to Paul Perro, which we'll probably go first. Are we going there first? Or Lou first. Oh, going... we go all the way to Paul Perro first and go Lou on the way back. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Lou's 10 minutes from here. Paul Perro's... my wife. Paul Perro's 40 minutes from here. So, um, yeah, so we're going to do that this morning. Take our breakfast with us. Have something to eat out before we come home. We've got another busy day tomorrow. So I'll take you along with me and I'll show you Paul Perro and Lou. You all right? Yeah, I'm doing the washing. <laughs> What's going on? Mm. Okay, so we're on the bike going into Lou. It's a bit cloudy today, so uh, not so clear, but looks, looks like some lovely water down there. Mrs. is behind, Angela. Really steep hills going down. Then we got a cycle up tonight. Could be fun. a quarter of a mile and then Paul Perro four and three quarter mile. I think we're going Paul Perro first and then we're going to come back later through Lou. Looks like Lou. Okay, so we're on the way to Paul Perro from Lou quite hilly and uh, Angela's down there somewhere she'll be round the corner in a minute there's the cyclist smashing it there she comes Daniel she loves the Daniels old Perro car park Right, where are we going? In the doghouse. <laughs> Don't know.
are you doing? William, cup two. Where are we? Loo. Not in the loo. Loo. As in Cornwall Loo. Sunny. Very sunny, isn't it? Beautiful. the Eden Project domes which we are going to go down and explore. So quite looking forward to seeing what it's all about. There's a buzz about the bees. All about the bees. Obviously these plants all attract the bees, which is a great thing. Just walk past the stage, it's enormous. It'd be lovely to come and see a music event here. And the adventurers zip lining. question you asked because we're in a quarry what was where it you the water go where was the water go so you're one step ahead but then they are, look. this answered all Wayne's questions water pumping station and it tells you how they get rid of the water in a quarry they have collection wells and overflow groundwater overflow and storage tanks which is fabulous 
biggest indoor rainforest in the world. Ah, oh, what a lovely smell. So calm. Oh, the fruit pulp gives the citrus tang to curries and sauces. Mm. It just shows you there's so many plants you can do different stuff with. More people, more trees. <laughs> Oh, oh look! Yeah, look, he wants that purple one. Oh, oh, they lovely. A bit different to the seagulls that Lou would just see. <laughs> you want him in my garden, though, look. Oh, look! Oh, no. Oh, they're both coming over now. When you're in the rainforest? Bananas. <laughs> oh, it is wobbly. We've had a lovely morning. Um, we was at the Eden Project. Um, took our breakfast in with us, our overnight oats, and bought the coffee in there. Um, it was really nice. It's an educational trip, really. Um, just taught us a lot. Um, we are arriving at our next destination called Little Trevolian, um, a campsite um, down. It's in. It's based in Helston, but it's actually further down the coast, right at the bottom in Lizard. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can show you that on arrival and when we go into that. Hoping it's a little bit more family-run orientated. We like the camping and motorhome sites because they are so clean and so lovely, but they're almost like a car park, and that's how we feel. Um, it's not to everyone's taste. Um, the other commercial sites but we're going to find out what this one's like so we're here got waiting here right we arrived at 
little Trevelyan, I think that's how you pronounce it. The facilities are great. Shower and toilet blocks are stunning and clean. That's where you wash up. And there's a big field there, I'll take you over. That's where we're parked for the night. And the sun's out. And we're cooking, cooking in tonight. We want to make the most of it. So, just to let you know the facilities, there's your washing up. And if you want to do your washing, there's a washing machine. And I was quite impressed because they have powder and soft rinse that goes into it. So if you haven't got that, that goes into the machine. Tumble dryer, drying facilities, and a lovely field with a park for the kids, which is lovely. And there's another touring park beyond that. And another touring park the other side. And some state caravans. It's a small site, a small family run site, but it is lovely. We're hoping to get up and see sunrise here because we're down the bottom by Lizard and we want to go and view the sunrise. So we're going to get a cup of tea and go down there when it's dark and sit on the beach. But I'll show you the ladies' showers and toilets. It's so very, very clean. Very clean baby changing units. Oh, lovely. The owners apparently have only owned it for four years. Very friendly. I can't fault it to be honest with you. It's a really lovely little site. Seven minutes by bike to the beach, which is what I'll be doing in the morning. So I'm just going to go back. Wayne's cooking tonight. So I'm letting him chill. I think he's asleep with his mouth open. <laughs> you alright, Kemper? That dinner smells nice in there. Good. <laughs> This is slowly becoming one of our favourite campsites. That's the reception. No cars beyond this point. After, after 10. ten. However. So this is the actual camping site. Very, being very nosy. Should we walk through there? Look, Wayne, how lovely is that? Look, a little, look at that little park for kids. <laughs> 